The curfew tolls the knell of passing day. The lowing herd winds slowly o'er the lee. The ploughman homeward plods his weary way and leaves the world to solitude and me. And solitude is the birthright of the fens, a lonely pony grazing by the water's edge, a yacht whose mast points upwards as if supplicating the gods for human companionship. For man is far away on other duties and the waters are dormant, slumbering till man returns to the haunts that once resounded to happy laughter. Although the waterways may be forgotten, the land is made to yield. And the motto, for men must work and women must weep, is altered to, or men must work and women must work too, for the land demands attention. Bleak and cold, reclaimed from the sea by dikes and drains, it produces abundant crops year after year, providing the soil is properly fed. Fenland comedies. Overnight, a cottage suddenly assumes a list that makes the occupier of the bedroom wonder whether he's had three over the eight or met an earthquake. But although they may tilt, these Fenland cottages remain tight even today. Barges still traverse the waterways and disturb Mr. and Mrs. Swan, who take off down the new cut, called new because it was only built in 1232. In some maps it's called ye old cut, not meaning your pre-war meat portion and no relation to two veg. Away fly the swans and on goes the barge, whilst Ma with the signet stays put. But Auntie Daisy, that's her, refuses to hurry and stubbornly shouts, Gertrude! But even she has to put a spurt on in the end. Go on, stick it, sister! Engine houses on the banks remind us that man has never really conquered the water and without these powerful pumps, ready at a moment's notice to transfer large lumps of goldfish bar from one place to t'other, the fens could still be flooded as often happens in certain areas even today. The banks must be kept in repair, but without that precaution the proverbial river wouldn't stay away from the symbolical door and once more the tiddlers would titivate over the present fertile farmland. So banks are repaired and watch kept on the dikes so that there may be a land of fen. Special boats stand by for dredging for the benefit of those who live by or in certain cases on the river. Fancy having your cow juice delivered by canoe. What a lovely excuse for water in the milk. Well, these hardy souls like it and so does the dog. Fenland wheat is famous. Today, they harvest their grain knowing full well that it is the best. The old steam engine clonks away and all too soon the grain is threshed. Not now going to the old stone grinding mill, but to the modern factories where it will still emerge as flour, but it won't taste the same. Ask any fenman. <laughs> 